<laughs> so uh, I'll do what I can do in two minutes. Uh, I can do free form. Last time I tried to do the free the free form, multiple choice as quickly as I could. I think I did it in like four or five minutes. So let me do that. I think uh, I can do that. So free form will take me another 20 minutes to do. So I don't think I can really do it. But uh, multiple choice, those are uh, not that they are necessarily easy. They are easier. Um, I, <laughs> I, I can do those questions in the remaining time in a couple more minutes. So, so let me do that. Multiple choice. So next week, when we do timed assessments, I won't need to do multiple choice because I'll have done it this time with a practically zero explanation. Uh, kinetic energy is quadruple, double the speed. Kinetic energy speed is squared. Um, some work done. So I'm looking for force and displacement along the direction of force. Some work done. That looks like it. Yeah. Um, as in what the increase comes from, work done by driver. Earth, uh, not really. I mean, it, it is a relative position with the Earth, but um, the symbols used here. That should form in accord with the kinetic energy. Oh, that looks like it. Let me just double check. Um, yeah. Okay, these are by the way dynamically generated. So uh, just check it to choice carefully. This won't necessarily be the correct choice for every one of those questions. Um, slice down at an angle. So this angle tells me the height changes of one meter. Uh, it is equal to be that. Uh, all right. So I have um, initial speed, uh, initial energy, mgh. Um, and the final kinetic energy is one half m uh, v squared. So that difference is oh wait what did I one half m v squared? Oh oh it says use uh, g equals ten. So that's probably what the choices use. Uh, yeah okay eight point two. Let's still know um. The bottom of is the oh, let me come back to that. Um, MGH minus one half MV squared. <laughs> let me come back to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there might be a programming error. Um, the two masses collide, they stick together. Oh, I have uh, enough intuition for this. Um, oh, wait, they're asking for the momentum. So initial momentum will be same as final momentum. Initial momentum was 2.5 kilogram meter per second. So that will also be the final momentum. Uh, two cars of equal mass, rows at a space, elastic collision, parties at rest. Oh, that's the kind of the thing you would observe if, uh, oh, wait, oh, sorry. Gotta read the question. Speed of the car P can be in to conserve momentum and actually kinetic energy. Uh, this would have to be true because uh, A comes to rest, so B would have to be carrying all the momentum. Yeah. A golf car, well, golf ball bounces from a speed of the speed. Okay, same speed. So energy didn't change. Um, <laughs> normal force. It does natural work because if we did non-natural work, it will have changed the kinetic energy of the golf ball. So it does negative work as the golf ball is uh, uh, kind of deforming, but then it put, as it pushes it away, it does positive work. I think that's right. Uh, the momentum is not conserved. The wall kind of absorbs the momentum of the golf ball enough to bounce it back. Um, so that, oh yeah, that's just. 6,000 divided by 0 0.13. Um, wait, what? Oh, wait. <laughs> the wrong thing. They're asking for impulse. They go force and time. So it should be 6,000 times 0 0.13. Uh, 780. Um, we have a lot of text. Uh, most correctly, this is how crumple drum works. Okay. It doesn't explode. It shouldn't explode. I think some cars it has exploded or caught on fire at least. Uh, 
first during our fight. Collision last long, first in the car. So, oh, yeah, that's basically it. So a rigid car would uh, force the passenger to bounce around. It could basically transfer all the force to the passenger, which you don't want. You want the car to be damaged, not the human beings inside the car. It doesn't deform elastically. I think that it, when it comes down to it, um, it doesn't bounce back. Um, yeah, not rigid. Um, yeah, all right. I gotta go back to that question. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, I could do this more properly. Um, this is required to be. Getting. Uh, I have a suspicion there's a programming error, which would be uh, terrible. Um, so, um, change of energy is going to be worked on by friction. And change of energy is energy final minus energy initial which is going to be energy final, one half mv squared minus energy initial mgh. And for uh, something like this, uh, L theta, this height will be L sine theta. Um, so I could do that. Um, one half times mass 2 kilogram times 3.43 3 squared minus uh, mass 2 times g 10 times uh, l 2 times the sine of uh, 30 degrees yeah i um don't know why it's doing this so when you see something like this you should have message your instructor. Um, and uh, here, I'll just do my best. Uh, my best being, I have a suspicion there's a missing factor of two. Uh, <laughs> so let me uh, do that, and then we'll see. Um, see progress. OK, I answered everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, this is taking longer than it should because I got st stopped by that question. All right, um, so I didn't get it right. Let's see here. Uh, can I see my work done? Uh, yeah, I can't because it's uh, one of the limitations of the teacher uh, preview thing. So let me just uh, send this um, to myself. And um, that's interesting. I'll bet this is what it was. <laughs> um, yeah, because I think I was just rounding it to integer. Yeah, yeah, that's what that was. Okay, okay, I think then we are fine. Um, I realized uh, that all the numbers I've been plugging in so far had the integer, um, integer, um, mass and the way the code generates masses they are not uh, they they do you know these things so uh, yeah so <laughs> i gotta put a note in there um, i'll just do a couple questions to make sure it's been fixed and um so you know when issue like this comes up Send me a, a message, then I can basically do not on recording what I've done now on recording, because uh, I I do my best to not to have mistakes in the questions, but things happen uh, sometimes. Uh, you know there are mistakes in questions, <laughs> uh, sometimes subtle error like uh, 
uh, program showing you one kilogram when the calculation in the background is done with the 1.2 kilogram. And it's the kind of thing where um, it needs to be investigated and needs to, should be fixed because it's really not a right that <laughs> that kind of error remains for so long. So the due process of 1.6, maybe. Uh, yeah, let me just do it one more time to be sure. Um, wait, that version is not different enough. Or uh, let me do it until I get a. Okay, so I, I think we are good now. Um, yeah, sorry, um, this is way over. <laughs> if you're still watching, <laughs> um, so that's a more of a behind the scenes stuff. Um, doesn't really uh, um, need, it didn't need to be on recording, but uh, what the heck. All right, so that's all. Thank you so much for joining to the end. Um, and I, I think I've done, uh, so, you know, when I edit this for future semester, I'm gonna be editing out the part where I'm fixing the code, but um, yeah, or I'll, I'll do some edits, I don't know. Um, I have to think about it after the semester is out. So uh, thanks so much for joining. Um, so no lab tomorrow. Um, see you next week. Um, and uh, but you know all the other stuff are still going on this week. So if things come up, send me a message. <laughs>